robots have emerged from the pages of science fiction and have disrupted almost every modern industry, including agriculture, construction, military, space exploration, medicine, and manufacturing. These are only a few of the places where robots have started to appear. You might say that robots have already begun to take over our world, they have advanced to new heights in the last few decades. Artificial intelligence's rapid advancement, along with readily available massive data sets, lower sensor and electronics costs, and a steady demand for productivity, has provided the ideal storm for engineered innovation. While robots are complex machines, they are still incredibly easy to understand. In many instances, robots are dependent on humans. Let's look at the best robots in various categories, ranging from the coolest and most dangerous to the strangest and most unusual. Before we start, thumbs up for the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, and turn on all notifications to get more incredible videos. See the whole video to get a complete picture of how robots can change our future. First, comes the role of robotics in agriculture. Agriculture is rapidly evolving into a high-tech sector that is attracting young professionals, new companies, and investors. Technology is increasingly evolving, advancing not only farmers' processing capabilities but also robotics and automation technology. According to the World Resources Institute, the world population will reach 10 billion by 2050, that's 2.4 billion more mouths to feed than today. That is a difficult task. Agricultural robots automate slow, repetitive, and boring tasks for farmers, allowing them to focus more on improving total production yields. Harvesting and picking are some of the most common robotic applications in agriculture, thanks to the precision and the speed, robots can achieve. It can increase yields and minimize waste from crops left in the field. However, automating these applications can be difficult. For example, a robotic device designed to select sweet peppers, faces numerous challenges. In harsh conditions, such as variable light intensity, temperature fluctuations, and wind movement, vision systems must assess the direction and ripeness of the pepper. Picking a pepper, though, requires more than sophisticated vision systems. To delicately grab and position a pepper, a robotic arm must navigate areas with just as many obstacles. This is not the same as choosing and inserting metal parts on an assembly line. The agricultural robotic arm must be adaptable in a changing world and precise enough to avoid damaging the peppers. Another example is high-tech harvest automation. It is a small, highly efficient robot for nurseries and farms that can operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with no rest and adjusting the pots most efficiently. They help in reducing the manpower and improving the job quality. It's a fully autonomous robot that can operate alongside humans without requiring any special environmental setups. It's used for material handling tasks, throughout the year and under all weather conditions. The Australian Centre for Field Robotics at the University of Sydney is a pioneer in the field of robotic farming, having produced a series of driverless tractors that offers us a glimpse of how future farms and orchards could work in the age of mass automation. It involves automatic branch trimming, their solar-powered Ripper robot, which can cover a wide area, weed detection and examination, scans, and thorough mapping. The impact of robotics is undeniable in the field of medicine. Some medical advances do truly seem like science fiction. In the past, robots were only used as assistants in the clinical system. However, they are now being introduced as an integral part of the healthcare method. Recently, engineers have successfully discovered surgical robots. In February 2020, surgeons in the Netherlands took it to the next stage. They operated on blood vessels just a few times the size of human hair using a highly precise robotic arm with teeny tiny instruments on the top. It was the first human trial of robot-assisted super microsurgery or operation on vessels whose diameter is less than 8 tenths of a millimeter. Surgeries on these scales are very difficult for us because our hands do shake, only a little bit, but every millimeter count on these scales. As a result, only highly qualified doctors can perform these operations. They created Musa, a robot that mimics a surgeon and makes the surgery simpler and safer. It has two arms that go above the patient, and instead of paws, it has small surgical instruments on the sides. To control the robot, the physician looks at the patient through a microscope and adjusts a series of controllers as if they were acting directly on a human. The surgery, though, is carried out by the robot's tiny tools. Except for tremors, the robot precisely replicates the surgeon's motions except for tremors. 
since the surgeon is looking at the patient through a lens and performing larger gestures, it often cuts down certain movements. The robot, unlike humans, didn't twitch or get tired, and it could maintain an uncomfortable pose indefinitely if necessary. This achievement is particularly noteworthy since a robot like Musa will enable more surgeons to perform this type of complicated surgery, allowing more patients to get the care they need. Now, we look at the roles that robots are beginning to play in the construction industry and how they can impact our industry in the future. The mechanical arm is arguably the most popular kind of construction robot now. Although stationary models of these robots have been in use in factories and on manufacturing assembly lines for years, portable versions are now being built for use on building sites for a variety of tasks. These robots, which can be programmed to perform a variety of routine and labor-intensive tasks such as transporting objects, tying rebar, erecting masonry walls, and even 3D printing structures. They have a significant effect on the construction industry, reducing accidents and greatly increasing efficiency. Robots are also entering the construction industry in the form of autonomous rovers equipped with high-definition cameras and sensors that allow them to navigate their way around sites. Able to identify and avoid obstacles, robots such as FEBOT can follow workers, carrying tools and materials. Even more advanced is Doxel's rover, which conducts construction site assessments using high-definition cameras and light imaging, detection, and ranging, or LIDAR, sensors, comparing progress to design models and programs. Fully autonomous cars and plants will transport materials and perform complex activities based on design models. Excavation and marking can be done 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, with no rest, significantly increasing productivity and lowering costs. Volvo's HX1 dumper and built self-driving dozer are two prominent examples. Military robots are being developed at an increasing rate by the various armies of the world to solve problems of varying complexity. They can destroy the enemy's manpower, deming territory as well as perform a variety of other important tasks. The job of security, safety, and surveillance robot is normal. It performs a survey of the target area. If there is a disturbance, it automatically alerts the owner. This kind of robot is used in the military to perform a variety of tasks. They're used to arm and disarm explosives, which is dangerous work for a person to do. They are sent to the target location to observe enemy action, which is an extremely risky task for soldiers. In the military, robots perform a variety of functions, not all of them are related to exchanging fire on the battlefield. They will boost human capabilities, keep soldiers away from harm, or even kill them altogether and respond to risks of all sorts, including natural disasters, securely. Now, talking about robotics applications in space exploration. Looking up into the atmosphere from Earth, we will see robotics applications in one of the lowest orbiting satellites, the International Space Station, where robotic arms help and protect astronauts in their duties and operations, allowing them to accomplish certain tasks that would otherwise be impossible. From there, as we ascend in altitude, we see robotic applications of satellite maintenance, and there is a very fascinating topic these days called active debris removal, which involves the use of robotics to capture a satellite and to orbit it whenever it becomes non-operational. When we go farther away from Earth, we come across robotic scenarios of space exploration, such as those that have visited the Moon or Mars with landers and rovers. Robotic missions now allow us to travel to distant and unknown locations that would be difficult, if not impossible, to achieve by humans alone. Since the world we can encounter there, can be very harsh and impossible for humans to deal with. So, robotics is now providing us with very useful data, facts, and awareness about the habitats and circumstances that we will encounter on the planets of the solar system so that we can consider taking humans there when the technology and astronauts are ready. This is it for today's video. See you in the upcoming videos.